A dream holiday turned into a nightmare. Pete Helmore was visiting Disneyland in France when the country was put on lockdown. He joins me now. Pete, having Disneyland to yourself would normally be a good thing, but not in this case. Yeah, so we flew out on the Wednesday as we landed Wednesday night. The event we were going to um, got cancelled literally as we uh, touched down in France, which was great. Um, Thursday and Friday, parts were... Uh, empty you know you're talking 10 20 people in a park where you're usually talking 10,000 it was pretty weird and pretty eerie as well so you know Disneyland's supposed to be the place of dreams um was it fun still even though it didn't have that atmosphere yeah so it was fun um but weird because there was no one around and it felt like you almost shouldn't be there it felt like you're broken in or something um the cast members were doing their you know, the best to try and make your experience the land of dreams. But I did feel for them. You could see how stressed they were all. Um, Disney had put quite strong regulations and rules in across the park. So you know, every shop now has a member of staff controlling who's going in, who's coming out. And you could tell it was just, you know, the end of the week, you could tell enough was enough for those guys. Mm. In Disney itself, shops were limited to 100 people. Uh, at the end of the day, they were limited to 10, 20 people at a time, which for a mass of shops, crazy. Um, we went out to the local shopping center, which is a bit like Cabot. Um, and, you know, this place is huge with lots of shops. And shops are shut, shops are limited in staff numbers, people wearing masks everywhere. And what information did you have while you were there? How are you following the story as it developed and, uh, and eventually you found out that France was going into lockdown? Well, that's a good point. So um, one thing about England is I think we're quite good at getting information out. Um, in France, it was quite a struggle to, you know, there was the French media were reporting different things. Some people were reporting that Disney, for example, was shut whilst we were there. It wasn't shut. It was open. Um, media was reporting several different things. Um, and there wasn't really any, no one knew anything, even in the shopping centers. You asked like the information people were there, they were unsure. Um, all the shops were doing their own thing. Um, government officials at the airport didn't know. Uh, for example, our flight was early. Uh, the government, the airport staff said, no, 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 it's on time. And then the EasyJet staff from the UK got there and said, we need to go right now. Um, it was all a bit confusing. It almost felt like, you know, you were running for the border. The last day there was very much like, you know, we drove to the airport, um, but it was like, we need to get out of France. And we need to get out of it now, it felt like.